back. I hope that you are okay and that you've had a really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is are they going to contact you? Um, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your individual situations, okay? So I'm talking through what we're going to do. Deck number one and deck number two. So first of all, I want you to go. I want you to go to the deck that you're most drawn to. I've got a fan on in here. It's uh, it's really hot today in the in the hair just blew my mouth. Deck number one, deck number two. So deck that you're most drawn to, and as you're drawing to that deck, I want you to think about your person. So think about them, and as you're thinking about them, I want you to feel your emotions in your heart that you have for them. And as you feel those emotions, um, I want you to see if you can feel it pushing into the deck, and if you can't feel it pushing, just visualize a pale pink color going towards the deck that you are most drawn to. Deck number one and deck number two. The pale pink color, the rose gold color, um, symbolizes unconditional love between both of you, okay? So let's do this. Deck number one. So I hope that you're all okay and that you're staying safe with everything that is going on at the moment. In England, we're still on lockdown. Um, my reading time is still down because all I'm doing is working every single day because I have no social life anymore. Um, so if you needed a private reading, now's the time to book while well, the turnaround time is at a lesser time and before England gets back to normality. Because I'm desperate to see my family and my friends. Uh, okay, think about your person. Let's get into their person's energy. Person's energy. Your deck number one. And let's do your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one. Uh, the other thing is the website's done. It's all new and it's all updated. Uh, so if you want to go have a look, go have a look. I'm really happy with that. I think it's really good. Okay, can you tell me, please, is that person going to get in contact with them? So my guide is saying that we're going to do nine cards. And the first thing that's... Oh, that was good. The first thing that's coming through my right ear is a song, and I cannot remember who it's by, and I'm sure it was out last summer. Um, and it says, I'm not going to text you first. So it's a kind of a little bit of a stubborn energy happening with uh, you and your person in deck number one. Are they going to communicate? Are there people going to send them a text message or a message on Messenger? Yeah, so very kind of stubborn energy coming forward. The other, I've got another song coming through, but I'm not quite sure who it is. I'm hearing Take Me As I Am. Let's just get one more for deck number one's contact. Are they going to contact? Okay. So, Take Me As I Am is coming forward. Now, you and your person are likely to have got to a situation at the moment, as your collective energy, where this death card is coming into play. So... It's likely that a lot of you guys have kind of gone through a breakup or that you're not in communication, their person has walked away from the situation. Either way, you, you guys have kind of got this worry and this concern that this relationship has come to a close. And it's more of an enlightened relationship, it's more of a spiritual connection that you guys share with one another. Um, and you are aware of that, but at the same time, this kind of fear is, is foregoing the spiritual connection that you guys are sharing. So you are worried that this situation has come to to a close and um, there's this great hope that these your people are going to get in contact with you but the moment you're thinking am I flogging a bit of a dead horse here is anything actually going to progress anything actually going to happen with this situation and it's affecting your confidence as well spirit is saying to me so this is where you guys are, are at the moment this kind of bit of a stalemate situation where nothing is really happening nothing is really progressing and um, if you guys are having a little bit of contact the contact's kind of very small talk just got a Katy Perry small talk um, you, you've got that kind of energy happening where you're feeling that there needs to be a bit more depth, there needs to be more emotions explained and those are for you guys that are kind of having a bit of communication but not getting the communication that you want. So this is where you currently are. Now your person um, is feeling quite sad about the situation. They're feeling as if they let you down, Spirit are saying. Um, they're feeling as if they made some big mistakes or that you guys had a bit of communication error and they didn't communicate properly with you. Either way, there 
there is this kind of feeling of crying over spilt milk that perhaps it, it hasn't gone how you both anticipated it to and you are both feeling very sad about the situation and your person is sad about it as well. Now what your person is doing is they are hiding away from this energy at the moment. They're trying to act on logic rather than their emotions because when they act on logic they don't have to do anything about the situation but when their emotions get the better of them um, that's when they start to really miss you and crave you and want you and want this kind of young, longing and yearning energy. So at the moment this is where your person is, they're trying to balance their energies out, balance their emotions out. If they act on logic they don't have to reciprocate heart-centered emotions, they don't have to, to dwell on it, okay? Now with this we have the infinity symbol, okay? So even if they are balancing and, and saying, oh no, I'm going to act on logic, it won't last. There is new growth coming from from this death card, okay? Um, so Spirit is saying here that you have to remember that when we plant flowers, we have to put manure over the flowers for the flowers to grow. So essentially, that's what's kind of happening here, is that you guys are going through the shit. Once you've kind of gone through it, you're going to turn into this the flowers, the new birth is going to come from the situation. So at the moment, it is a bit barren, it's a bit lost, it's a bit, oh my God, what's happening? Um, you're both feeling quite sad over the situation, but your person is just acting more on logic at this moment in time. But this is definitely a more divine connection. And Spirit is saying with the more divine connections, if your, guy, if your person has wondered before and you had this period of no contact before, what makes you think that they won't come back this time? if this cycle has repeated in the past. Some of you guys as well with this divine connection, there is this karmic energy between you both as well. Um, so you might want to be doing a karmic energy clearing. Even with divine connections, we have past lives with our people. And with past lives, we accumulate karma. And when we have karmic energy, it impacts our lifetime today. So you can go on YouTube, type in past life hypnosis, past life regression, have a go at doing it yourself. I do do past life readings. All the details are on the website if you wanted to have a go uh, uh, at that and we clear that karmic energy for you um, very interesting readings I, I really enjoy doing them okay so that's where your person's energy is currently at you've got this kind of little bit of karmic energy coming forward and um, not nothing much is really happening your person this one is just staring at me your person at the moment is kind of going it alone and um, they've got this even though this isn't a cactus, but have shown me just a clairvoyant image of this cactus, they've got their thorns out at the moment. And if you get too close to them, or if you're trying to push them for communication, you're gonna find out that you're gonna end up getting pricked and you're gonna get hurt, okay? So your person at the moment, again, is withdrawing from the situation, acting on logic, rather than the heart-centered emotions, and they've got their little cactus pricks out, ready to, you know, if you get too close you're gonna end up getting hurt. So your person is definitely requiring a little bit of space from you at this moment in time. Now, what happens from there is your person has this bit of a reality check, this bit of a wake up call. So you guys are gonna have this period of no contact. Um, if you haven't looked at the 30 day no contact rule, for those of you that you know this is quite recent with, it might be worth having a look at that, having a go at doing that. Your person, um, once they've kind of got out of this energy of I'm in this logical side of things, I'm okay with the situation, I've got my cactuses out. Once they've got through this, this real strong Five of Cups energy is gonna kick in. So you know we said that they're feeling quite sad about this situation, but at the moment they're acting on logic. This this cycle here is going to flip, okay? So where they are at the moment, it's gonna reverse. Um, and when this reversal happens in their mind and in their emotions, they're gonna really feel the loss of you. They're re really gonna feel that sad energy coming forward. Um, and it's gonna provide a few dark Dark nights of the soul they're really going to be on a quest doing a bit of soul searching about what it is that they're doing with their life what direction they should be going in what actually should be happening with you and from there we have this movement coming towards you of your person okay so this is your contact coming in now some of you might find that your person does it on a more sexual basis than on a heart centered energy so they might come towards you and be like hey more sexy um what you're up to what's going on fancy a hookup along those lines sexual energy coming towards you from them now if it isn't sexual what they're going to be doing is they're going to just be coming to test the water with you seeing if there's still a chance with you now the reason why the sexual energy is going to be at the forefront or this kind of gambling of let's see let's test the water let's see what's happening is because if they open up to you about their emotions straight away they're gonna feel a little bit frightened by the situation they don't want to be in a situation where they feel vulnerable and if they come towards you and say that they really like you, that they've really got strong emotions for you, that they effed up, you, they might get shot down by you lot watching. 
um, they, they have that fear, you know, they have that fear that they're going to get shot down by you guys watching this video. Um, so that's why the sexual energy could come first, because if they act on heart-centered energy, they're going to feel vulnerable, and they don't want that vulnerability around them, so they're going to be acting on the more frisky kind of side of things okay so the communication will come back towards you once this logical side of things is retipped they're feeling this sadness that's going to take over um, and then this communication is going to come in possibly not the communication that you're looking for um, if you're hoping that it's going to be I love you I want to be with you you're my world let's be together forever um, it's unlikely that, that is going to happen immediately in this contact but when you two are at a place that you're talking better you're talking in a way that isn't so frustrating that you're not feeling is infuriated that's when the emotions are going to come forward now from there these cards are extremely good all of them okay so from there we have the four of wands which is your celebration you're coming together your union as a sense um, and also with this let's look at the black and white okay so you've got the balancing of the masculine and feminine energies here so your energies are going to be aligning the crosses the the the, the ones crosses the ones are crossing and um, so your light and dark energies are going to be merging in the middle the masculine and feminine energies duality light dark good bad right wrong and um, masculine feminine your energies are going to be merging okay and this is your celebration this is also your twin flame card as well indicating some form of union in coming together you have your ace of wands which is your new passionate beginning which we've already discussed that they're perhaps they're going to come forward with a more sexual um, way of communicating with you rather than an emotional way because they don't want to feel vulnerable you've got a new romantic beginning coming forward with the ace of cups spirit is saying it that it's important when they do Commun communicate with you that even though it might not be the communication that you're anticipating or that you want it's important that you know that they have reached out to you um, and when they reach out to you it's because they do care about you that they have got emotions for you so try not to think of it as a negative and seeing the cup half um, empty rather than half full when that communication does come in maybe not be the communication that you want but it's important that you know that the fact that they've communicated with you shows that they are thinking about you and they still that they still care about you and that their emotions run deep, spirit are saying. So being aware of that when it does happen to see the cup half full, half full rather than half empty. We also have the lovers and the star, and with this we have this helix energy, and you'll have seen in the in previous videos that I talk about the more divine connections being a bit like a DNA helix. Um, the consciousness is raised into our DNA as human beings anyway, the higher consciousness is in, uh, involved in our DNA. So when we entwine and we go in and out of each other's lives, we naturally create this helix or an ongoing infinity band, okay? As you can see it going up, you have the, the infinity going forward. So your person is gonna be wavering back into your life. You're gonna be having this communication with them and this contact is gonna be coming forward. We then also have the star about being on the right path about things heading in the right direction it's going to take a little bit of work and um, nothing in life that it comes easy is worth having anyway spirit is saying so it will take a little bit of work between you both but you have got this really strong outcome of the two of you coming together in some form of union it's just going to take a little bit of time patience is key and i hate saying that i hate the word patience even as a psychic for me the word patience really gets on my wick but it's very much the case with you guys that a little bit of patience and perseverance is going to be very important here um so we have this movement we have this communication coming towards you now the timing on it your strongest mutual timing um is a two to three no, it's not. It's two to four, Spirit is saying. So it could be two to four weeks, two to four months, the second or the fourth of a month. Um, it's along those lines that this timing is coming towards you. So with timing, when we pull out the strongest mutual energy, again, that is in all of your energies, pulling out the strongest energy between you all, a bit like how you would work an average out at school, but we do it with the energy. So the timing is your average energy between you all. Um, the other side of that is you have to remember that time is fluid and your person has got free will. So with free will, they can dictate the situation as you can. You can choose which pathway you want to go in. You can just choose if this is something that you want to progress with or not. That's going to be down to you guys, but you have to remember free will is always an indicator in tarot. Um, so your timing is your collective timing is a two to four. Um, 
regardless of your circumstances, regardless of where you are. Now, if you wanted to look at individual timings, you can give me a shout. We can do that in private readings. Um, I also do single questions. So if you just want to do it over a single question over email, we can do that for you as well. So the overall answer is yes, your person is going to contact you in a two to four at the moment it's kind of like you, you're losing a bit of hope you're feeling a bit down you're feeling a bit lost you're thinking that this divine relationship is coming to um a bit it's got a bit barren that nothing's really happening your person's acting on logic perhaps you've tried to reach out to them and they've pricked you with their cactus that, that you've ended up getting a little bit hurt by what they've said and what they've done as time progresses over this next two to four this logic and this emotion scale is going to re-tip um, and they're going to really start feeling the grief and the sadness of not communicating with you. It's important on this card as well, Spirit saying it's important to note, as they do, um, we have two cups over the top here. This is your true love. You have the water in the middle, which is your emotions, and this is where your person is going to be. So they're going to be standing on this, um, this side of the stream, feeling the sadness, feeling this heaviness, feeling like they've really made a mistake. What they know that they've got to jump over these waters, jump over these emotions to get to you and it's really important as well with this card you see the kind of gray area around it with your person it is very much light and dark good and bad right and wrong there is no gray area with you and them okay but when it comes to this sadness and this grieving that they're going to be feeling this grieving that they're going to feel that they've lost you um there is going to be a grey area on that because they're going to be hoping that there is a chance. At the moment, they're going to be quite adamant that, you know, I'm sticking in this, it's not working, I'm not going to contact them or I've ghosted you and I'm not going to do anything about the situation. Um, but this grey area, time will provoke this grey area and this grey area means this logic is going to tip to emotions and when it tips to the emotions, the green is going to take over your heart-centred energy. And from there, you have this movement, possibly not the movement that you're looking for. Um, it might be a little bit more sexual. It might be a little bit more non-committal. But again, they're going to be testing the water um, to see how you're feeling about them before they talk to you about their emotions because they don't want to come over as vulnerable. Then we have really strong new beginnings, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands new passionate beginning, new romantic beginning, important to see the cup half full rather than half empty when they do reach out to you, um, your lovers, helix, entwining, coming back together, chance of you two heading towards some kind of union or, or being in a relationship with one another, definitely going to be given that chance if this is something that you want to progress with, with your free will, it's going to be down to you guys, but again, more spiritual connection, definitely linked to Twin Flames, and from there, you have following the right path. Um, also with this star card spirit drawing me to say the universe has got your back, uh, make sure that you're telling the universe what you want and not what you don't want, um, because if you're telling it what you don't want, you will manifest more of it. So uh, just being aware of that, being conscious of that um, and letting the universe do its job for you all you need to do is tell the universe what you want say I want that communication from you and um, from your, my person I'm going to plug in my seatbelt I'm going to hold on tight and I'm going to let the universe take the reins and take me on the roller coaster to see where we end up so your person overall will get in contact with you in a two to four as your collective neutral timing okay sweethearts and that is deck number one so i'm gonna have a breather for a minute and then i'm gonna do deck number two uh lots of love to you all take care and i will speak to you soon okay beauties deck number two let's do this so as i said um at the very start this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all oh regardless of your individual circumstances. So it could be your long lost lover, it could be your ex, it could be your person that's with someone else, it could be someone that you've got a super, super crush on. Um, it's just the collective energy on if your person is going to contact you. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date because it's likely to come up or it's possible that you guys are not part of the strongest mutual energy and you might want to book a private reading. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into the collective energy of their person? And let's do their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So I've got Purple Rain coming through my left ear by Guns and Roses. Um, you have to have a listen to that one. I can't remember the lyrics off my off the top of my head, but I need some time all alone, need some time on my own. Um, something, something, purple rain. Purple, purple. I love Guns N' Roses. I mean, you know when someone puts you on edge and says, can you remember the song lyrics? And you're like, oh, I don't know, but you can hear the chorus going in your, in your, in your left ear. 
Okay, let's do this. Will their person contact the people watching? So we're going to do nine cards just as we did with deck number one. Three. I love this deck. Will their person contact them? And I'll get a when for you guys as well. I've got a, a when with deck number one. Will their person contact them? Five, six, let's have these in reverse. Seven, eight. Ooh. Okay, we'll have ten. We have got ten cards jumping towards you. So, overall, your person will be in contact with you. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. You have your celebration coming over here. So, let's start with the ending and let's work our way backwards, okay? So, this is your you and your person aligning in perfect light and perfect trust, Spirit are saying. This is your energy coming forward. You have the very strong divine feminine energy coming through with this deck. So, you guys watching with deck number two, you are in a much more kind of universal power position than what you think you are. You have your high priestess energy coming forward. So you guys are in a very strong position of power when it comes to you and your person. Uh, perhaps at the moment you're feeling a little bit low, a little bit sad, a little bit down, but you guys have got a lot of trust in the universe in knowing that this situation will come back into your favor when the time is right. Sometimes you waver with it and you get a little bit of distrust in your energy because you've got that fear rising up within you. But really, if you take your fear out of it you know in your energy in your soul that your person is going to be in touch with you and this is your power based energy how could your person not want to be in touch with you when you are in this very strong high priestess powerful magical energy okay you uh, guys are manifesting at a rapid rate so I there's just an awareness that you need to have of that um, be aware I just said in deck one but deck two again it's coming up but more so with deck two because you are in this more kind of powerful universal energy be aware of your thoughts try not to hold on to a negative uh, thought for more than uh, seven, uh, 17 seconds because after 17 seconds your thoughts become reality okay thoughts become things emotion is energy in motion and when we start putting all of that together if you're holding that 17 second um, the negative thought for more than 17 seconds it will start coming into your reality so it there is an awareness needed of that okay just being conscious of it all so your person may have floated away from the situation, floated away from their troubles, um, decided that, you know, I'm just going to step away from the situation. Spirit are making it me very, very aware with this that this is temporary, okay? Perhaps you two were having different points of view on it and your emotions got the better of you. Perhaps situations have happened which has called this emotional divide between the two of you. But even though they're floating away from it at the moment and thinking, no, I'm going to focus on myself, there is this strong connection between the two of you and we have the rainbow going over the top of this boat so even if they float away from their problems float away from you this emotional rainbow they call our uh, the bridge between our world and the neck and, and the fifth dimension uh, the rainbow bridge so even if they do float away from it the connection is still strong there is a lot of kind of telepathy happening in deck number two as well and again this is you guys standing in your power so just being more aware of um, how you are handling your energies okay um, um, you're not doing anything wrong, nothing bad is happening or anything along those lines, but when you're in such a powerful position and you're in such a strong position, it is important that you stay in that power rather than getting into that lower frequency because in this state where you are this powerful and you are this strong, um, if you're in that lower frequency, that lower frequency will be magnetized into your reality. So again, really being conscious of your thoughts and what's happening. Now, there was a, it looks as if as the majority of you, there's been a choice made on this situation because nothing's been happening that either you guys have decided to walk away or your person has decided to walk away and now you're at this stalemate of what is going to happen because even though they've walked away or you've walked away you can't stop thinking about them you do still love them you do still have these strong feelings for them um, and you want them to come back towards you even if you're like no I'm okay I'm fine I, I don't need them you do really want to communicate with them and again it's because it's a more soulful relationship it's 
very much soul energy rather than earthly energy with deck number two. The connection is extremely strong between you both. And even if it's been years that you haven't spoken or a good few months, that pull is still there. And Spirit are telling me to tell you that if you feel that pull towards them, your person will feel that pull towards you as well. Don't let your fears in and don't let your fears win. Really flipping that energy around now Spirit just drawing my attention to a really good book that might be beneficial to a couple of you. Let me just grab it off the shelf, hold on. So this is a book by Sarah Prowl and it's called Dear Universe and if you don't want a, a, a class session at the moment it might be worth um, having a, a skipping forward a minute or two. So Dear Universe by Sarah Prowl. Now this book is really good if you've got fears, okay? So in the start of it what we have over here it talks about choosing love over fear. So at the start we have a bunch of negative emotions, lower frequencies, um, you have a chart here of all your negative things okay so you've got stuff like let's pick some things for you as a whole uh moody negative obsessive overwhelmed panicking paranoid uh, insecure devastated you have the negative emotions at the front so then what you do is you turn to the page of your negative emotions let's go to devastated page number 23 and there is a, a little manifestation here to help you shift your frequency out of this devastated feeling and then we go to the bottom of this book and over the bottom we have um at the very very bottom the positive energies that counteract the negative one so once you've gone through your, your negative energy you flick to the page that is uh, most drawn to you so we're devastated we have the polar opposites of loved supported and worthy so if we turn to the back of the book which is the positive emotions we turn to page 54 which is loved okay and then you have the positive um, manifestation to counteract the negative one so if you guys are just suddenly having this little bit of a wobble and freaking out about things this book is really really good to take you from that negative energy and flip it into the positive one so it's really really good book to bring you out of this quick negative um, manifestations that perhaps you don't realize that you are doing so I do recommend it um, I think it was like a tenner when I brought it tenner in English money I don't know how much it is now I've had it a couple of years I want to say I don't even know when it came out but I've had it a little while um but it's a really good book to raise your frequency okay so being aware of that stepping out of this kind of negative frequency that perhaps you guys are in now from there if we look at these ones in reverse at the bottom we have the eight of cups the four of swords ace of swords in reverse so all of this if we were going to look at it the right way this would say your person has walked away from the situation that they're having a bit of a break and they've cut you out okay but they're all in reverse so what this is saying is that um after a bit of time when time kind of progresses whoop, progresses between the two of you it's actually going to do the reverse of this as cards read in reverse the situation is going to reverse so this would be your person coming towards you that period of no communication or having a rest coming to a close and coming back towards you asking for a new beginning which is more intuition based more based on um thoughts and feelings and emotions but count, uh, balancing them all out so even if your person's balanced walked away and or you've walked away there is still a lot of hope here that this situation is going to come back round from there we have your person coming towards you making some kind of peace offering based on love now some of you also are going to be moving house spirit are saying with this um with this i really kind of uh, I stuttered them the spirit are going to be uh, your person is going to be making you an offer some kind of offer of love now it might take them a little while to do it as we are fully aware at the moment you're both feeling quite even though you're in a more powerful position the energy of surrounding you both is a little bit low it's a little bit negative and again that book is quite beneficial to mo the majority of you watching at the moment um, coming out of this negative frequency out of this lower frequency and coming towards this offer with you so contact is going to be coming in this relationship is definitely not over between the two of you and um, with that spirit are saying that it needs a re it needs a break okay if things perhaps got a bit too intense or a bit too sad or a bit too down or you weren't happy it needed a bit of downtime um, for this situation to rewrite into your future okay um, time out absence makes the hearts grow fonder um, <laughs> That's my, my gran, bless her, my gran's just come into my energy and she's just said absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, your person is 
going to be in touch with you. Just remember who you are, okay? Remember the power that you have um, and, and just be conscious of your negative thoughts and your positive thoughts. Manifesting it will really, really bring it back to you and in a quicker time frame than what you are expecting. Timing on this is a six, so your mutual energy. Again, um, if you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout, but your collective energy on deck number two is a six. So six weeks, six months, June, the sixth of a month, along those lines for your collective. If you wanted to look at individual timings, give me a shout. Um, Remember as well that time is fluid, okay, so it can change, we all have free will, um, but that is where your collective timing is, and a bit like when we did averages at school, it's going into all the, the some, you know, numbers and pulling out the average, it's working with energy, going to all of your energies and pulling out the average as six okay um the six also stands for the lovers this is a relationship that um has seen time lifetime after lifetime uh together spirit are telling me um and there is this offer that will be coming towards you um not it perhaps at the speed that you would like it to be but it's at the speed that is going to be right for you guys if um, if this relationship came together too quickly, history could repeat itself. Um, and also with that spirit of saying, it's important that we walk before we run, because if you run, you can miss really important parts of the relationship and how this relationship is working. Um, and, you know, again, history could repeat itself and it could leave this relationship feeling a little bit more low, a little bit more down. When this relationship comes back together, when this contact comes through, it's important that you really rebuild and stabilize the future between the two of you. Your person will be offering you more than perhaps they have done in the past and there is more offers of relationships coming through. Uh, Spirit is saying as well with some of you guys, children seem to be a little bit of a worry or concern. Perhaps some of you guys are wondering that your body clock is running out. Your person is going to counter offer um, this situation with you. So if you have got a little bit of a worry about children um, a spirit of bringing it to my attention, your person is going to make a counter offer towards you about having kids or uh, with them having kids or whatever your individual circumstances, some kind of offer about uh, counteracting the energy of children. Um, so your person's emotions for you are strong. Um, more importantly, you guys are standing in a place of power. Yes, it might have come to a little bit of a temporary close. Uh, spirit is saying it is in hibernation. Um, and in hibernation, it starts coming out in the summer months. I think hedgehogs sleep in hibernation. And I think they come out at summer. I can't, I don't know off the top of my head. But Spirit is saying definite situation that is in hibernation. But it's going to be progressing in the right direction. And all this kind of... Um, I've walked away from the situation or you guys walking away from the situation I've had enough I need to break them it's not working I feel really stressed from it I feel really down from it this is all going to subside so that the, the love between the two of you this offer this page of cops is going to come forward um, Spirit are also watching over this. The universe is watching over this. Um, very kind of magical feeling to this deck. And you are going through this period of transformation. Uh, Spirit is saying it's important that you pay attention to synchronicities around you with deck number two, especially as you are standing in this magical power. Um, pay attention to the synchronicities and the symbols. The universe is talking directly to you. Um, if you want to know what the symbols and synchronicities mean, uh, for an example, if you go onto the internet and you go and have you see the repetitive cycles repetitive numbers um it's important that you work out what the universe is telling you directly okay so a 222 two, two, a 333 three, a 444 four. you can go on to angel scribes you can find the generic meaning but if you want to the universe is talking specifically to you so if you want to find out what the universe is directly telling you um what you need to do is when you see the number write down the, the thing that you were thinking about before you saw the number and the next time you see it write it down again and the next time you see it write it down again and by the time we get to the fifth or sixth time of seeing that number and what your thought was before you saw that number you're going to work out specifically what the universe is telling you so for me and um, again it, it differs from person to person but for me when i see a 222 it means that someone is coming back into my life when i see a 444 it means that stuff is happening behind the scenes that i am not fully aware of five 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 signifies massive changes that are coming my way um 
And so you kind of work with the numbers like that. Same with uh, images, if you see two swans, necks entwine, you know, work out what the universe is telling you. Pay attention to those signs and synchronicities because you are all getting individual messages, but perhaps you're thinking of it on a more generic term. So to work it out, go and have a look yourself. What Do the, do the groundwork yourself. Write down what you're thinking about. By the fifth or sixth time, you will get what the universe is telling you and trust in that. Because when you see it again, you will know specifically what the universe is saying. And that is deck number two, okay? Very strong, powerful energy, very much um, a, a very magical, um, standing in this kind of Venus retrograde energy of this power-based energy, you know? Ex-lovers, a lot of ex-lovers are gonna be returning between now and 25th of June as well when Venus retrograde comes to a close. Um, but the love that you guys have is very strong, but more importantly at the moment, keep standing in that power. You're manifesting as quickly as a finger clicking. So if you want your person to contact you, now is the time to do the groundwork and bringing them to, to you. Uh, I do manifesting plans if you want one. Each manifesting plan is kind of tailored to you and your individual needs. Um, not one manifesting plan is the same as the next. I work with you, uh, me and my guides, I, I can't take all the credit. Me and my guides work with you. Um, we, You tell us what it is that you want to manifest. We find the tools, We, I listen to them, I write down the tools, techniques that they want to give you to bring this person or whatever equivalent of person into your life. And we do it in a PDF uh, format so that you guys get um, your individual plans done for you. You're in this strong manifesting energy at the moment, so either do it yourself, go and have a YouTube, really important um, to bring this to you if that is what you want. And if it isn't what you want, then you're gonna have to do a little bit of soul searching. And that is deck number two. Okay, sweethearts, well, I will speak to you next week. Have a really good one. Stay safe, look after yourself, uh, and much love to you all from me and my guys. Take care, darlings. God bless. Bye.